Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome once again to English Unlimited A2. And um, today's lesson is uh, titled, What Would You Like? What Would You Like? Um, this is the way we offer someone uh, something. Uh, and it is very polite. Uh, what would you like if you want or uh, someone visits you or comes to you and you want to offer uh, the person something, we say, what would you like? Now, the goal of today's lesson is to learn how to buy things in shops. How to buy things in shops. If I study a share, uh, Good. Now, let's look at this. Uh, do you like shopping? Do you like shopping? Uh, complete, uh, for speaking, complete the questions about shopping with the words in the box. So complete the questions. These are the questions. Complete the questions about shopping with the words in the box. Use these words in the box to complete these. Pause the recording uh, while you complete this work. Now let's look at the answers. So these are your answers. So one will be like, two often, and then three use. You can pause the recording whenever you are doing any exercise. Let's move now to vocabulary. Let's now move to vocabulary. And we have shops, vocabulary, Mufradat, shops and shopping. Shops and shopping. So you can see here. Um, match shops one to eight. This is one to eight. Match one to eight with A to H. That is, look, here we have uh, some places where you can shop uh, in a shopping mall. So uh, these are places in the shopping mall. You match them with the words here. So we can uh, look at the first one together. Uh, one, uh, which of the places A to H do you think is the answer uh, for one? You can see that a shop, a bookshop, a bookshop where they sell books, you can see that the answer will be what? D. So uh, a bookshop, uh, the answer will be D, one. The answer is D. So I want you to complete the rest. Uh, on the plan, uh, so match uh, Tausil uh, one to eight with A to H on the plan of the shopping mall. Okay, so now I, you can pause the recording for a short time while you complete this exercise. Let's now look at the rest of the answers. Um, so two will be E, three will be B, four will be F, five will be G, six will be A, then seven will be H, and then eight will be C. Now match places nine to 16 with I to P. I to P uh, are also here. So match from nine to 16 with I to P on the plan. Uh, so you match these also, match these also. You can pause the recording while you do complete the work.
Now let's look at the answers. So these are the answers from nine to 16. So these are the answers from nine to 16. Now let's look at these questions. Where can you go to? Where can you go to if you want to buy boots? Uh, where can you go to if you want to buy boots? If you want to buy maps? If you want to? So I want you to complete. Let's uh, talk about this. So where can you go to if you want to buy boots? The possible answers. Uh, for one, that is you can go to the shoe shop or sports shop. Uh, now, if you want to buy maps, where can you go to? Um, you can see the answer here. So two, this is the answer. And then for three, where can you go to if you want to get money? Uh, the cash machine, the ATM, or the ATM. And then four, if you want to buy trousers, so that is close. You go to the clothes shop or sports shop, trousers, that is pantalon. Uh, okay. Then uh, if you want to buy a football, uh, where do you go? So you can see the answer sports shop. Then if you want to wash your hands, where can you go? Uh, you go to the toilet. Uh, uh, and then, uh, where can you go if you want to buy medicine? Uh, the pharmacy, that is side of Leah. And then where um, do you go if you want to buy um, a magazine? Uh, a magazine, Majala, and that is where the news agent or the bookshop. Uh, news agents are people who sell newspapers, generally they sell newspapers and magazines uh, by the roadside. Um, on on stalls, they have small shops like Kisk, and they sell newspapers uh, on them. So that is it. Okay, so now let's look at countable and uncountable nouns. We have uh, Mahadud and Gir Mahadud, uh, Asma Mahadud, and uncountable nouns, Gir Mahadud. Now, countable nouns, that's Mahadud, can be singular and plural. So it, it can be Mufred and Jam. So use a e or an with singular countable nouns. So Maha Mahadud, Mufred, Bidaya uh, E, our an uh, mahadud okay mufred now uncountable nouns don't have a plural uh ger mahadud uh bidun jam s nihaya le you can't use a e or an with uncountable nouns and uh ger mahadud mufred bidun e wa bidun an mahadud maha e or an mufred lacking Germadud bidun e wa bidun an. So let's look at some examples here. A book. Some books. This is Mahadud. And then we have here some pasta. Um, this is Germadud. Okay. So Germadud bidun es. What is that? E pasta. What bidun es? Gir Mahadud. Okay. Uh, now we have here uh, uh, many nouns can be countable and uncountable. Uh, bad asma, kathir uh, asma, Mahadud, Wagir Mahadud. So three potatoes, uh, three potatoes, other uh, one, two, three. 
potatoes lesser maharus uh, uh, mahadud lakin maharus some potato uh, gir uh, mahadud then a chicken uh, camel uh, uh, wahid a chicken uh, lakin uh, uh, laham fi tabik uh, and akal uh, gir mahadud alain some chicken so on the dining table some chicken uh, lakin uh, wahid 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 uh, mahadud so una mahadud gir mahadud una mahadud gir mahadud okay uh, good so uh, So let's look at more information about the countable and uncountable nouns. Uh, which food in pictures A to E can you count? So these pictures A, B, C, D, and E, which ones can we count? And then the ones we can count uh, are what? The ones we can count, we call them the countable nouns what you can count one two three four so the answers those we can count are what uh watermelon um, bananas we can count them and then what again and then carrots we can also count this but which can't you count these are uncountable if you cannot count uh that is b rice and cheese so we can see the answers here. Uh, the countable nouns are A, D, and E. And then the uncountable, the uncountable nouns are B and C. So now much pictures A to E to answer to sentences one to five in the table. So we are to match this. How many bananas do you want? Then uh, these are questions for countable. Mahadud, Mahameni. Mahadud, Mahameni. Uh, uncountable, Ger Mahadud, much. So how many? Una, how much? Mahadud, many, wo S, Mahadud, jam. How many? Diamond, Maha S. Like in Gir Mahadud, how much? Bidun S. Okay, so now we are to match pictures A to E to sentences one to five in the table. So I prefer a nice round watermelon. So which picture here can we match with this sentence? Uh, I prefer Ufadel. Uh, uh, which one? So it is A. One is A. Now, pause the recording and complete the rest. Pause the recording for two minutes and complete the rest of the sentences. So, Tausil. Now, let's look at the answers. So, these are the answers. Sorry, it seems I clicked on the same. No, the answers are here rather. Yeah, so these are the answers. So uh, we have one is A, then two E. So I like some carrots, please. And that is E, as you can see, carrots are here. Just a, the, you can pause the recording for a short time. Now let's make these rules. Let's look at these rules. Uh, I want you to make three rules. We match this one, two, three with A, B, C. You can use many, A or N, and numbers are come with A or B or C. We choose one. So you can see here that uh, the answer, uh, you, can, and you can use many, A, N, with which of these a b and c it will be with what b uh, on 
with countable nouns. So let's look at the rest, and then you can use match with, it should be what, C, uncountable nouns, Gir Mahadud. And then three, you can use some and a lot with A, both countable and uncountable nouns. So you can see the answers here. So these are the answers, B, C, and A. B, C, and A. So you can use many A or an and numbers with countable nouns. And you can use match with uncountable nouns. You can use some and a lot of with, um, with countable and uncountable nouns. Let's look at another exercise. I want you to circle uh, the correct word. This, uh, how many or how much uh, tomatoes would you like? Uh, tomatoes, you can see that S is here. So what is the correct answer? Many. So one, uh, the correct answer should be what? Many, how many tomatoes? Now, I want you to complete the rest. Pause the recording while you complete the rest of the exercise. Now let's look at the answers. So these are the answers for the uh, rest of the exercise. And on that note, we have come to the end of today's lesson. I hope to meet you again another time. Thank you. Goodbye.